Hi, welcome to another episode of Ask Kanji. I'm Priyanka Bhardwaj, founder and CEO of Marriage for Kuranti, which is a matrimonial advisory service. Recently, I made a video about matrimonial profile photos. The focus of that video was about um, the recency of pictures that you use on your matrimonial profile. The question that somebody had asked me was, how recent should my photographs be? And the, the main answer was, the more recent, the better, because if you do meet the person you match with, they want to be able to see the same person that they saw in the photograph. You want to be able to build trust and you don't want to betray their trust or make them feel like you may be hiding something apart from the way you look when they actually meet with you. Now, as I made that video, um, I realized that's just one part of the whole story. I didn't talk a lot about the semantics of what makes a good matrimonial profile photo. So in today's video, I want to talk about things that you need to take care of while uploading pictures to make sure you create the best impression possible. Remember, this is not about how amazing your face is or how amazing your body is or how great you look. It is about, it is about creating trust. It is about being as authentic and uh, natural as possible. You want to give your matches an opportunity to get to know who you are, even if it's just in two seconds, uh, as best as possible. Now, I'm no photographer, but I can tell you one of the most important things about these pictures has to be lighting. You have to take these pictures in really good, nice, natural uh, daylight. Now, that is when you know, your features are best shown, you, you will look as natural and lively as possible. So make sure that all the pictures that you upload are shot in natural daylight. And when I say natural daylight, as much as possible, uh, try to shoot these pictures in the outdoor where, you know, you're looking natural. It is uh, pictures in action, candid pictures. Now, you could upload anywhere between, you know, one photograph to 10 photographs, but ideally you want to upload about four to five pictures, which allow you to showcase yourself in various different poses or uh, whatever that you want to showcase to the other person. Now, in the three to five pictures, you want to make sure you've got in different poses or like different sizes of pictures. What I mean by that is... You could have one picture that is a close-up of your face or, you know, up to the bust. There could be another picture which uh, is, is a full-length picture where they can see your whole body um, and make sure you have legs, for instance, or that you don't have a physique that's like Johnny Bravo where it's really bulky in the top and you have really tiny legs. Um, basically, you want people to be able to um, imagine who you are uh, in the right manner you don't want you don't want them to feel surprised when they meet with you the other thing that you should take care of is making sure you're showing everything about yourself in the sense make sure you don't have a cap on <laughs> like I know some people with a receding hairline want to like not show that they have a receding hairline so they like to put pictures of themselves with caps on uh, it's it just shows that you're not confident with who you are as a person. So absolutely avoid doing that because if someone has to marry you, someone has to uh, like you, it has to be because they like you as a package. So be as authentic as possible. Avoid putting on sunglasses and not showing your eyes. Eyes are a window to a person's soul. So if you do not show your eyes, it becomes very hard for the other person to connect with you. The other thing you should absolutely avoid is putting up pictures of yourself in clothes that you're not comfortable. Um, I know a lot of people feel like they need to put up pictures of themselves in traditional attire. It could be dhoti or kurta or sari or wearing, you know, really giant jewelry and things like that. Um, if you are comfortable doing that, if, you know, saris is all you wear and you're super comfortable doing that, absolutely go for it but if you think that sells and that's why you need to put up this picture don't because you send out the wrong signals if you are somebody who wears western clothes all the time but you've just got one picture in one wedding that you attended like two years ago 
uh, in a sari and that's what you've put up, people don't get to know who you are through that picture, right? So avoid putting pictures that you think sells. Uh, put up pictures of yourself in clothing that you're comfortable doing, things that you're passionate about, where they can really get a glimpse of who you are, right? Um, so many people make this mistake, uh, but absolutely, absolutely avoid group pictures. It becomes really hard for people to figure out which one you are in that group. And sometimes people even upload group pictures from 10 years ago where you don't even look like you know, the person that you are today and you're, it may be a great picture. It may be a happy picture that makes you feel great when you look at the picture, but it's not helping the cause. You're not helping somebody figure out who you are. So always avoid group pictures. And when I say group pictures, it has to be a single photo. I'm not talking about group being four to five people. You cannot have a picture with one other person. I know a lot of people like to upload pictures with their parents and siblings it's all nice. You want you want you know your matches to be able to see you with your family. It's great, but sometimes when you upload a picture, let's say with your sister or your friend or brother or like somebody, it is a bit confusing for someone seeing you in a matrimonial photo. Like, are they supposed to imagine that this person is your sister, ex girlfriend, someone you were married to before? Like, what are they supposed to think? right it is confusing so you have to understand the context in which these pictures are being displayed and put up pictures accordingly the other thing that you should absolutely avoid are selfies because not everyone is great at taking selfies uh, so a lot of times these pictures look really awkward like this and you know <laughs> you don't want uh, people to skip over your profile just because you took a terrible picture right Avoid selfies. Just ask a friend, just ask your parents, anybody at all. Just even run outside your door, go stand in front of your gate, stand on your road, ask somebody to take a picture. Uh, that'll do, right? Another thing uh, that you must absolutely take care of, uh, if possible, and if you know how to do this, is if you're taking a picture where there is a lot going on in the background, you want to make sure that the background is blurred and that you are standing out. Otherwise, uh, those kind of pictures don't create an impact. They, it's like they can skip over that picture without getting the information that they need. So you want to make sure you are prominent in the picture because this is about you. It is not about your great photography skills or how fancy your background you can choose. Um, it's really about showing who you are, right? Now, um, maybe the last and probably the most important thing is please absolutely avoid using effects, filters, photoshopping scars, uh, sprinkling some hair that you don't have and so on because it doesn't help build trust. It, it absolutely does not. Um, people like to meet not good looking but confident people, who, people who are confident in their skin. So if you feel the need to cover up a scar or you know touch up your face or do something else using Photoshop, it shows that maybe you're not confident of who you are and that is a massive turn off, right? Uh, I know it is very natural to think um, that everyone's interested in judging you on that photograph. The way people judge you is not by, you know, whether you have symmetrical features or, uh, or, or clear skin. I mean, well, some people like that, but I'm saying in general, what people are looking for on these uh, platforms uh, is a way to connect with other people who are authentic, can be trusted, and who are confident in their skin. So if you can remember these things, you will make sure you upload great pictures. So yeah, these are, these are absolute essentials when it comes to matrimonial profile pictures. Actually, profile pictures anywhere, but then more so for, for this purpose because trust is the foundation of a good relationship and you want to do anything and everything possible to be able to build that from day one. Now, if you have any questions at all about this, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'm going to leave a link to my website as well as the other video that I was talking about in the beginning of this video so that you can see both these videos to be able to uh, build a good profile for yourself. Now, 
do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so because there are going to be tons of videos about the marriage market, how to navigate it, um, how to deal with relationship issues, dating, love, etc. Um, there'll be more videos coming your way every week. Uh, do, do stay tuned. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.